Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today's video is, it is gonna be a day in the life, but it's gonna be more focused on um, groceries and restocking, stocking my new pantry. I'm gonna go to Walmart today and get like a big grocery haul, and I've added a few things in. As you know, I've been waiting for my new pantry, and I know it's not the same for everyone. You can, I could make a stockpile in my basement if I really wanted to, but I was really wanting my pantry so that I could stockpile a few things not a, not a lot I've just never been able to have I've never had the space so I've never been able to have those extra things in case I need them like for instance when I'm cooking sometime I'll be like oh shoot I forgot to get sorry the dogs are barking <laughs> story of my life um, sometimes I'll be going to cook something and I'll be like oh shoot I forgot tomato paste or something so I have a couple cans of those a couple cans of sauce like I just want to have a couple extra things and each week I grocery shop I will pick up a few extra things you know and just sort of stock my pantry and also you know we all know the world we're living in and the food shortages the food prices going up so I thought why don't I just do it slowly grab a few things each time each week I think it's really good to do that like buy some pasta buy some canned meats some canned veggies some canned fruits just have those on hand um, just you know not to like be, be crazy scared or anything like that but just to be wise so I'm gonna do that today I'm gonna give a give you a big grocery haul after I pick everything up and I'm also going to be like wiping out my refrigerator and stocking that as well. So I thought that I would put this into a day in the life vlog. It is a super hot day today. It's Saturday. It's going to be like 98 where we are. And for us, that's really hot. It's been 10 years since where we live, since we've hit 100 degrees. So that's kind of crazy. It's definitely hot for us today. <laughs> but first we're going to go, I'm going to go take these breakfast sandwiches I made for my mom. I showed you my last video and I'm going to deliver this to someone and then we're going to brave the heat. Yes. It's hot outside. I'm going to get some Mexican food before I head to the store because I don't want to head there hungry. <laughs> Basically we all get the same thing every time we come. <laughs> Talavera, Jackson likes his rice and chicken. I love the rice and the beans and enchilada. All right, just like that, it's about five hours later. <laughs> Four hours later, I guess. It is 5.30. Jackson and I just carried everything inside. I was gone way too long, but I ended up going out to my mom's, dropping off some stuff that she had me pick up, and that always takes longer. Plus, when I was at Walmart, I met just the sweetest lady, and we talked for a while, and I gave her my youtube name so hopefully she found me if you're watching it was so good to meet you i hope that you enjoy my videos i hope that if you see me at walmart again you come up and say hi um she was just the sweetest lady i told her that a lot of my viewers are in her age range she's a widow she just lost her sweet fur baby and my heart just went out to her but if you are watching um make sure to come say hi if you see me again at walmart um it is like i said before so hot outside i'm so like you know how this the heat just like exhaust you it takes zaps all your energy that's what i'm feeling but i need to put everything away and it's dinner time so i think we're going to do a feed yourself night like my friend tiffany on our small town life she has a feed yourself night every week and i think it's a grand idea i think we'll have cereal or sandwiches or whatever anybody can fix themselves because mama's not fixing dinner tonight especially since we ate a big lunch um at the mexican restaurant so I'm gonna show you everything that I have to unpack and then I'm gonna unpack them, do a grocery haul and then I'm gonna just kind of stock my pantry. I spent $379 at Walmart, but I did get like a bunch of extra, not a bunch of extra, but I got like a starting a stockpile. So obviously like my groceries for two weeks plus some extra things which I will just put away and you know, they'll be nice to have like I was saying before so let me unpack them well let me show you everything then i'll unpack and then we'll stuck the pantry and i need to wipe out my refrigerator it's not terrible but i need to like wipe the shelves off this is my grocery haul right here and i got all, all the little curious fur babies want to see where's our treat where's our stuff huh claire's favorite spot is the plastic bags she will find them no matter where i put them and she lays in the middle of them and chloe sometimes too <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start over here. Put all these in my new uh, grocery bag holder that Marion made me. But some of this is for like basically now and then also just wanted to have like a little bit extra. So I'm gonna show you like a separate uh, grocery, like little haul of what I got for like to put away and then everything that I need this week. So instead of buying boxes of cereal, which are almost $5 each, this was like six, 
something. So I just got the big one of these. And then this one is the Malto meal brand. And that's only five bucks for this massive 33 ounces. So I just got those and I can put them in my cereal containers. Oliver, <laughs> you know how Ollie loves to open presents. He thinks it's his to open, don't you? You trying to open the cereal? That's not for you. That's not dog food, sweet boy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry it's not. Well, I got a big thing of um, cat litter. I was gonna buy two of these, but I just got one. Just one sec. Um, and then I got, I've been buying for a while, I've been buying Gain, but I went back to my Purex, which is what I really love, have used forever, and it's cheaper. So I got Purex. I got a thing of cat food and dog food just to top off my containers, and then a few, a small pack of water bottles. <laughs> As you can see, the animals clearly, clearly want to be in the shot. Clyde, are you the star? Do you just want to say hi to everybody? Of course, Ollie does. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, then over here I have the non-groceries and then all these. So, this is non-groceries. Y'all, these were almost $8. I remember it used to be like five bucks. What in the world? I was shocked. It was seven something and they used to be four something, I think. That is crazy for trash bags that you're gonna throw away. But you gotta have them. So, I got trash bags. I also needed like baggies I call these like medium baggies and then large baggies the gallon size so I went ahead and stocked up on those because I do have a few left but I have more storage space now you know I can store these so I guess those are kind of like for the for a stock stockpile too then I got Jackson some of his splash drinks and some cherry cokes got a bunch of cat food I got how many one two three four five six fourteen cans um Claire, she just turned 15. She's like obsessed, obsessed with this stuff. Like she could eat a whole can herself a day. But I try to do one can a day for all three. So needed to get some of those. And then I got this one for the dogs this time just to give them a little bite. Sometimes they're like, where's my, where's my wet food? So this is way cheaper than the blue that I bought last week. So hopefully they like that. Got some more flossers. I love these things. I got some more acetone nail polish remover because I am going to take my acrylics off. They have been popping off and I spent $50 and a week later my thumbnail popped off and that's not cool. So I'm like, I think I need to give them a break. That's what they told me. So I'm going to take my acrylics off and I bought this Biotin Ultimate Strength. It's supposed to kind of like repair your nails. So I'm going to use that and then you can also put polish over it. So I just bought some of the cheap $2 polish if I, if I want to paint them. But hopefully that will build my nail strength back up. Then I got this pair of shorts. They were on clearance. I love that they have all their stuff on. I don't love that they have their summer stuff on clearance because that means they're making way for winter and fall. But these were $13.98. Got them for $7. They're really cute. They're like high-waisted. And they have the little fold there. I just liked the way that they fit. They kind of like held my stomach in, you know, up, like because they're so high. So I really liked those. I got this. I really wanted the ocean blue ocean mist one, but this one smells really good too. So hopefully I will love it as much. And then I needed some more omega-3 and cinnamon capsules and then tissues. It's a four box of like the smaller boxes of tissues. So these are my like meats and veggies. I got half gallon of milk, a huge thing of ground beef. This is four and a half pounds. I was going to get like five individual pound ones, but I thought I'm just going to cut this up and make it work into five mils. I got some ground chicken because Jackson loves rice aroni with ground chicken in it and that'll be a meal one night. And then I got some more of my favorite chicken cutlets, some more of the triple berry blend. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do with this? Oh, I wanna make like a cobbler with these, the strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, like a healthy, sorry, you know the drill, the dogs. Like a healthy blueberry, uh, berry cobbler. Got some broccoli florets. Okay, um, I got some grapes. Their grapes looked really good today. I was kind of surprised. Some spinach and spring mix. This, what I forget what my meal plan is. My mind is going blank. I forget what I. Oh, I'm gonna. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. Got some fresh broccoli because I know I'm gonna do roasted broccoli. Some cucumber and tomato, bell pepper and no onion and bell pepper and bananas. I got some Twizzlers because tomorrow we're going to go back to King's Dominion. Marion likes to have Twizzlers when we drive. It's just a thing. He likes to have them. 
So I got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast for sandwiches for just for Jackson and I during the week. I just grabbed this because I have a lot of rice and I thought that would be quick. Some night when I'm like not really wanting to do a lot, I can throw that in the oven with some rice and some vegetables. I got Marion some more of his beef and cheese taquitos. I um, got some garlic toast, some brioche buns. We're gonna have um, like sloppy joe. We're gonna have barbecue chicken on bun. Then I got some bagels for Jackson, some omega-3 trail mix for Marion, and peanut butter trail mix for Jackson, a couple bags of Cool Ranch Doritos, some stick butter, zero sugar Cool Whip. Um, whip oh, I'm going to be making the chicken Alfredo, so I needed my heavy whipping cream. Some cheese, I forget why I needed that. And this cinnamon sugar butter, Jackson really loves that on a bagel, so I haven't bought that in a while. I got some mozzarella cheese, got some eggs. I had seen someone do a haul and they said these were cheaper than the Walmart eggs and I thought they were too, but then they rang up more than the price tag said. So they just hadn't fixed their price tag. These were $4.12 and the Walmart eggs are $3. So, But these are better quality. I had this sweetest lady, she's like, go ahead and get them, just get them, go with your heart. God will provide. I was like, okay, I'll get them. <laughs> she was the sweetest lady. Okay, then over here, this is my, like, towards my stockpile, so I'll show you that in a minute, but this is the last of what I got for now. I got Mary and his coffee, some taco seasoning, because I'm going to do taco bowls. I got some chunky fruit, mixed fruit. I just really, I keep it in the refrigerator, and I love this, like, to snack on. It's so good. I got some black beans for the taco bowls and some salsa. Got me some more maple syrup. I haven't bought this brand, but it was the cheapest one, so that's why I grabbed it. Got some Italian dressing. I'm going to make some chicken with that. This is for my pasta. I got this last week for a dish that I made. I've not used the Great Value Marinara, but it was actually really good. I added bell pepper and onion, and it was really good. So, And it's cheaper, so I grabbed it. Fettuccine, some unfrosted strawberry Pop-Tarts, some more almond flour. Then I got my little mini sugar-free... Coca-Cola and that is it for the regular grocery haul. I need to get everything put up because it is hot today in case I haven't told you. <laughs> so let me go through this really quick but this is just to like start a stockpile. So now that I have room like I said I can stick this in there and pull from it when I need it. So I just got one of these rice sides. There was a Walmart like shopper there like an, an employee that was shopping for other you know how they do Walmart pickup and his big old cart was blocking all where these were so I just grabbed this one and moved on I didn't stand there and wait but got one of those a couple taco seasoning taco yeah taco seasoning. I need to buy like a big thing of it because I buy so many of these packets and then uh, same with brown gravy I just grabbed three of those and then I grabbed three of these strawberry Martha White muffin mix because Jackson loves those I just got an extra box of pasta that's a good thing to keep stocked up on you can always I mean pasta lasts forever so then I got two well no I got a black bean and the tricolor beans because I use those in a lot of things I got some green beans some corn and then two more cans of the chunky mixed fruit to keep in the pantry a couple cans of the basically Rotel mild tomatoes with green chilies a couple of my favorite peas some more juice packs for Jackson and Parmesan cheese and then a couple boxes. I got rice roni chicken, some tricolor pasta, which he loves. And then we we actually had these recently, and Marion said it was he loved it. So I got a couple boxes of them. It's the olive oil and Italian herb. And then a box of brownie mix to that used to be a dollar by the way, and it's like a dollar seemed like it was like a dollar seventy something. I don't know. Crazy, but that's my little stockpile. So now I'm going to put you on the tripod. This is always the most exhausting part for me. Oh yeah, I bought also a big thing of toilet paper. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the tripod and put this stuff away and wipe out my refrigerator. Try to just, you know, get everything put away. And like I said, it is dinner time. So everybody's gonna be wanting dinner soon.
I think what I'm going to do now, I got everything stocked. Um, and I love having extra space. It's so great. This will be a great thumbnail. <laughs> um, I am going to go ahead and pull out my Cricut because it's a pain, but I want to do it because there's a few things. I know I need to fix my potatoes. You know, potato, potato. Potatoes has an E, so got to fix that. Also want to add cereal to these two because I had left two blank because I wasn't sure if I'd need them, but I do. So I'm going to go ahead and make those two labels. I'm going to make a few labels for my refrigerator, like the drawers with the fruit and veggies and the meat and cheese. I think I'm just going to do those two. But in my refrigerator, um, in the bottom drawer is just kind of like drinks and fruit and stuff. So I'll, I'll just do veggies here, meat and cheese. And I gotta think, oh, and I want to do another label for the middle. If you watched my pantry video, the little one right here, I need to make one that says oatmeal also because I wasn't sure if I'd need both. So I'm going to look around though and see if there's anything else that I forgot that I need to make a label because once I pull it out, I want to get everything done because it is such a pain, you know, to pull it all out and do all that again. So hopefully since there's so many, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just kind of out of breath. That was a lot of work, but... I am so grateful so grateful to have a pantry I I'm so grateful before I pull out my Cricut I'm just gonna divide this meat up into like five different meals I wrap it in foil and then I stick it in like a big freezer bag that's just how I do it lots lots of different ways you could do it I'm sure grapes in a vinegar water um, bath it's the best way to clean them one of you subscribers told me that and now I see everybody doing it it's so good for fruits and veggies I've already got my apples I bought these last time and then got some uh, bananas and somebody told me which I've heard before I think it's plastic wrap you wrap around this part and they're supposed to last longer so I'm gonna try it either foil or plastic wrap or paper towel I need to look it up and see but I think I'm gonna have one of these for dinner because they're like you know when like a banana is like the perfect perfect yellow green brown like combination <laughs> this looks perfect to me so i think i'm gonna have a banana and some of these for dinner because this wouldn't fit in my bins and that just sounds good for dinner but let me go look up that about bananas and then i'm gonna make my uh labels and then i'm gonna eat and then i might attempt to take my acrylics off tonight because uh the other day this on my right hand this thumbnail just popped off when I was moving stuff and they there are almost three weeks of growth so I don't know it's gonna be like a an ordeal but we're gonna be gone all day tomorrow and I didn't want one of them like to pop off when we're at the park and then I'm having to walk around looking ridiculous so I don't know all right it says to use plastic wrap so got a little piece of plastic wrap I'm gonna wrap the stems All right, I got all my labels printed, cut and printed. Marion and I were doing, we were down there for like an hour because I was doing some for him too. But um, I'm gonna use my little scraper and scrape this off and hopefully not damage the, let's see. I could use the back if I had to, if I can't get it off, but. you do my life was great 
till you added colors Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you Till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay Or take me away I want you for myself Every single day Okay, so they're kind of hard to see just because the light, but just meat and cheese and veggies. I didn't label my last drawer just because it kind of is like a catch-all. Like when I don't have anywhere to put stuff, I'd throw it in there. So I don't want to necessarily label it. And of course, if I change my mind, I can peel those off. It's nothing that I can't remove. I should have probably put butter on this because that's what I use for my butters, but it's fine. I could have also done that. I could have also done all of these, but I decided not to because yeah I didn't need to label everything I also didn't wipe those down they're not they're clean I just wanted to wipe off the shelves earlier but it looks better I'm glad I got those little labels I've been wanting to do that too for a while and of course I fixed the potato label everybody's happy now and then I just I hadn't labeled those before so I just went ahead and actually this had a small label on the side from before but since I turned them this way I thought why don't I just label them and the cereal so that is it. What else did I do? Oh, my little oatmeal sign. So now I feel like all the little things are coming together. So it's like all the little things that were hanging over my head that needed to be fixed. <laughs> one by one, they're getting fixed. My battery is flashing. It is 9.45. I was downstairs working on my Cricut for so long with Mary. I'm not going to probably be able to do my nails tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and um, say goodnight for now and I'll catch back up with you tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll be vlogging, but I will vlog on our little trip just because um, just try to get a little bit of footage. It's always so fun to watch back. So uh, we're going to head out about 9 o'clock in the morning and then we'll get to the park around 1130. And they open at 11 and it's a Sunday so it shouldn't be as busy as Saturday, but it's also going to be 100 degrees tomorrow. So Hopefully that will keep crowds away too. Last time we were there, if you watched that vlog, we were in hoodies. It was freezing. Not freezing, but it was cold. So this will be very different. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is Sunday now. I'm vlogging on my phone today because I don't take my camera into the park. But I'm probably not going to get a lot of footage. Maybe just do a little musical montage. I don't know. But I'm holding my medicine. I got to take my medicine. We're running 13 minutes behind, but... Oh, is it 19 minutes behind? Oh, and my glasses on. But that's okay. We will get to the park around 11.30 or so. And they close at 9. So we're hoping it's not too hot. We're hoping it's not too crowded. But if it is hot, maybe it will make it less crowded. So well, let's get on the road. We got about a two hour and 20 minute drive. <laughs>
Grizzly is the roughest, oldest wooden roller coaster here, and for some reason, Marion says he's gonna ride it with Jack. <laughs> So far, no long lines. The longest we waited was the very beginning, and it was like 25 minutes, but everything else, it's like five minutes or less, so. It's hot, though. It's heat index, feels like 107, so for us, that's really hot. <laughs> That music's really loud. There was a storm like five miles away with some lightning, so they've literally shut everything down, even though the storm has fizzled out <laughs> and moved on. Still supposed to be an hour, but I think we might, that's showing all the rides that are down. I think we might have to leave early. Since like seven, all we've been able to ride is the carousel, and it's eight, mm -hmm. and they close at nine. So. Open back up for the last hour, praise the Lord. And now we're gonna go ride Jackson Road. Well, the good thing about them closing that was that most everybody left, yeah. so the rides are all walk on now. So we rode a few rides. Jackson's gonna do the Dominator before we leave, but I want to go check out the lights in the park because those are the, my favorite part about the park. But now they close at nine instead of ten, so you don't get to see the lights for very long. But we're gonna go see the lights. And then he's gonna ride one more big coaster and then we will be leaving. But I'm proud of us that we survived this crazy hot day today. And I've been on Tumbili twice today. And so the, the new ride is called Tumbili. You can go on YouTube and you can look it up and you can pretend to ride it. That's what I did rather than actually riding it. But Marion rode it today and he and hated it. it. 